Good morning everybody, welcome back to another vlog. This vlog is going to be everything I have done. I've just got to the treatment room and this is the machine. This is the Derma Facial Premium machine that I will be having my facial today. They have the most gorgeous rooms here. They're so tranquil, peaceful, and so pretty. I love this wallpaper, it's absolutely beautiful. So I am having their brand new facial. I will speak to the incredible facialist today just to talk you through it, but I'm so excited. So we have just started the facial and I'm already in absolute heaven. <laughs> Could you talk me a little bit through the type of facial and what facial I'm having today? So today you're having the Premi Bespoke Facial. So that includes all the technologies on the machine, which has five technologies. The first one is called Aqua B, which is like a vacuum suction to help cleanse and decongest the skin. Oh wow. So that gets rid of like all the blackheads, yeah. the dead skin. Yeah. It's quite similar to the hydrofacial, yes. is that right? Yes, it's just like a small section of the hydrofacial. Amazing. And then it goes through and has like loads of different like infrared, is it infrared? Yes, so then you go on the exfoliant exfoliation. So yeah. it's like a deep exfoliation. We put a gel on the skin and it's like an effervescent tablet that dissolves over the skin and helps push all the products and really deep cleanse, a bit like a microdermabrasion. Oh wow, fantastic. So it's sort of a little bit deeper than your normal... Your normal exfoliation, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Gosh, and this machine looks absolutely incredible. So how long have you been offering this um, so we've facial? we've had it for a couple of months now. Yeah. Um, just getting really into it now, trying to get as many people in as possible to Amazing. see the results. Amazing. Well, I can't wait to see the results for myself. I was just telling everybody that I'm going to Mallorca for um, about 10 days and we've got a big photo shoot. So this is the perfect prep to ensure Absolutely. that my skin is glowing and beautiful. Hopefully no spots, although I am looking like Rudolph <laughs> the red nose reindeer <laughs> over here and hoping that that is going to disappear. <laughs> Oh gosh, I cannot wait for this. So this is stage two, stage two. it's called Fibrox, mm -hmm. so it's a, a deep exfoliation to so apply the gel to the skin Yeah. and then we're using this sort of, Ooh. it's like a tablet so it will dissolve with the gel and work with the gel to help exfoliate okay. the skin so we're just using a fresh one just to help really still hydrate the skin and not dry it out. Fantastic. And it feels like a bit of a vibration on your skin. so relaxing it's absolutely divine it's nice to know that this is such like a a results driven facial so you yeah. have the sort of little bit more invasive things at the beginning like the sort of extraction and the exfoliation and then this you wouldn't really feel that it's like a it, it doesn't feel like an invasive extraction. no not at all it's quite tingly yeah, so it's like a stingy, yeah, but not an unbearable feeling. Okay. It just feels like it's really active on the skin, yeah. really working. Okay. Mm. Wonderful, I could fall asleep. Mm -hmm. This is so spoiling <laughs> for a Monday morning. <gasps> Divine. face toning setting which is almost like a mini facelift <laughs> obviously it's non-surgical <laughs> facelift so what how do you how do you tone the muscles so it's using a microcurrent so we've just popped an ultrasound gel i'm just going to work just on here because everyone okay. wants lifted cheeks Ooh, sculpt <laughs> cheeks, definitely so you can feel like a bit of a i don't know how to describe it a bit like a shock but not a shock okay. if that makes sense a shock. Um, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love it. No, I'm excited. So you'll see what I mean. So if it's too much, just let me know. skin tightening part of the facial which is so relaxing it's actually quite warm it's just divine so what does this how does this work so this is radio frequency so the idea is to get the skin up to a certain temperature which helps um the collagen like reproduce quicker oh wow so it helps tighten the skin so you're aiming to get the skin between 39 and 42 degrees how incredible but it is very relaxing. It's I'll so agree relaxing. with you. It's so <laughs> warm and divine. And this is going to make my skin look tight and plump. Oh gosh, I can't wait. I really do think that this is like the perfect combination of all of the facials brought into one. Now if you yeah. want like a sculpting and lifting facial, but still want to get the, I think the results of a hydrofacial and it be exfoliated and clean, then this is the facial for you. And I think anything for like a special occasion, red carpet event, photo shoot, going on holiday, anything like that, this facial would be perfect. Anyway, I'm going to switch this off and just enjoy the rest of the um, <laughs> skin tightening section. <laughs> so this is the last step of the facial where we've just popped on the, what is this? It's a rejuvenation serum uh -huh. made by Preemie. The ultrasound just helps to push the product right into the skin more than we can do with our hands. Amazing. It looks so extra in that syringe. <laughs> oh, no, it does. <laughs> it does. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I cannot wait to see what my skin is going to look like. And I think it's one of those that's it's after a few days, yes. isn't it, that you really see the incredible results. Definitely. Oh already so like lifted I was quite puffy in the face this morning mainly because I had gluten yesterday which okay. I shouldn't have um, I always wake up with a puffy face but this just has been Perfect Monday morning. for a Monday morning mm -hmm. it's so spoily Just arrived at La Medusa. Let's go and have a glow up. God, you are really seeing me at my very, very worst. Just <laughs> so saying to Steph that I look like one of those. Have you seen that picture where it's like the naked mole rat that's had its nails done? Um, it kills me. I will post a picture of it and I think I look somewhat like that. I'll show you the picture. Hang on a minute, you have to see this picture. So, Steph, do you think I look like this? Okay, wait for it. I send it to Anna, my sister, the other day, being like, this is what I'm going to be like on Monday morning. <laughs> that was amazing, though. <laughs> <laughs> when you've had your nails done and a facial. I think I look really similar. Oh, oh my true. goodness. Anyway, I have arrived with my darling girl at La Medusa, and it is time to freshen up these blonde locks ready for my Yorker. I apologise for the blow drying in the background, but you'll get the gist. So, what are we doing today? So, today we're going to sort out these juicy roots. These juicy you know, roots. These juicy roots. But also, kind of break up a bit of the blonde, because yeah. you're a bit kind of all blocky one colour, wherever you've been sunning yourself for all these lovely holidays. So. <laughs> Less of the holidays, thank you so much. <laughs> Cheeky mink. Oh, but yes, yeah, working hard. Yeah, I should say. Yes. On all your... Shoot, so we're gonna, yeah, put Give some life back in here. 
definitely, yes. definitely. So you're going to do three colours. We're going to do three colours and then give you a pop of blonde all around the front. So we're Love it. Almost like yeah. a little bit of a Scandi mm, feeling yes. around the front. So when I'm in the sun, they go so blonde. So we're going to try and just recreate that. Anyway, let's do this. Wow, this is a look. I didn't pride myself on showing you guys just about everything. I think this could be the new new season look, don't you think, Steph? Oh yeah, definitely. What have you done to me? It. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> so I'm fully cooked. Uh, the uh, foils are coming out. We're gonna do a good old wash. We're thinking about leaving a mask on it. I am gonna give it a good old trim. Well, Steph is gonna give it a good old trim. <laughs> um, and then might actually leave it in a mask because tomorrow, wash and blow dry again and up to London for a few different events. So I'm actually thinking to give it, you know, a bit of time to repair, get some moisture back in there. Yeah, that's my plan. Okay, well we didn't go for the mask in the end. <laughs> We've gone for the big blow dry as per usual. And I'm very looking forward to having my very blonde locks back. I am obviously naturally blonde, but we just do lighten and brighten it a little bit. Steph has worked her magic up there. And I'm actually gonna leave the rollers in because I'm heading to London for a few events tomorrow, which is very exciting. I might even take you with me. Woo! Maybe, 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 because it's gonna be a fab day. Um, but anyway, next stop is nails. Can you believe it? Such a pamper Monday. Just divine. Back in the car and now on the way to Marlow. I can't tell you how gorgeous today has been. It's so unlike me to have a Monday like this. I can't remember the last time I actually had everything done <laughs> in one day. So as you would have seen, we started off at Cecily, which is a fantastic spa in Marlow. It's where I actually have my waxing done, a bit TMI, but they are just super professional. It doesn't hurt at all, and it's just something that I, I swear by. They're incredible. And then, of course, we did the gorgeous glowy facial. I've actually just stopped the car at a traffic light, but I just want to show you. I have no makeup on, and look at that glow. It is absolutely stunning. I am, however, getting a bit of a spot on my nose. Not ideal, hoping he is going to off. <laughs> anyway, so that was absolutely divine. Then headed over to my favorite place on earth, which is La Medusa. They have done my hair since I was, gosh, I don't know. Alessia was the first person to ever cut my hair. So two or three years old and I've never let anybody else touch it. They do my highlights. I absolutely swear by them. And if you want to have your highlights done, then I would highly, highly recommend. Well, they're all amazing, but I have my hair done with Steph and Freya, um, but Lauren is incredible. They're just the most amazing team and you will walk out with the most amazing hair so i highly highly recommend them now i'm going over to my gorgeous girlfriend who owns the tree and nail spa in marlow and i'm just you know i'm very loyal to people when i just i just love it there and my nails always look so beautiful they last so long so i think the last time i had my nails done was about four weeks ago they are looking rather long, <laughs> but they are not chipped. They have not broken. They still look like so. Um, so I'm literally just gonna go there and have the same thing done again. I love a French manicure. So I'm just going to, oh, that's a bit sneaky, Mr. Mini. Oh. I'm gonna go around here and 
before last. So as I said, we are heading to Marlow to have a manicure and then a pedicure. I've got my computer with me, which is so handy. So I've been able to keep on top of my emails, making sure that logistics wise for the photo shoot, I'm on it. Anna is at home with a to-do list as long as her arm, <laughs> bless her. And then this afternoon, we have got to smash through a load of admin. Monday's a majority admin based, so emails, brand reach outs, we are doing a lot of organization for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And then we have lots of advent calendars. So really into the Christmas swing of things. And I actually yesterday did a Q&A on my Instagram. And I've had a lot of people um, reach out with ideas for Vlogmas. So we're pretty much organized for Vlogmas with so many different ideas. That was a big conker. <laughs> that really scared me. Um, anyway, we're pretty much organized for Vlogmas. We have so many different ideas. Christmas in our household is, uh, is incredible. We're very extra, love the decorations. We have so many different Christmas trees and I can't wait. I just simply cannot wait. I have also got quite a lot of travel coming up. So I've got to try and think about how I am going to logistically be able to film everything and then obviously get it up, edited. Anyway, that's for me to worry about and for you to look forward to. <laughs> It's so lovely to be able to bring you along with me for days like today because I get so many questions about what I have done, what facials, whether I do IPL, whether I'm waxing, whether I have laser hair removal. And I just thought, do you know what? I've managed to be able to organize everything in one day. So it is the perfect opportunity to bring you along with me. Anyway, I'm rambling on and we need to get to Marlow rather quickly. I've got 10 minutes before my appointment starts and we're probably about seven or eight minutes away. If you know Henley, I'm literally by the Henley Showground. They have the Henley Decor uh, Fair here, which if you like antiques, then I would highly recommend it. It is the Henley Decor Fair. I'll let you find out the details because I think it's actually in a couple of weeks. It's not long and it is such a golden goodie. The things that I have found in the antiques fair. I mean, I think my parents have bought really quite a lot from, there's a gentleman who has quite possibly one of the best antique stores I've ever been to called Gary Wallace. I will leave his Instagram details down below. But if antiques is your thing, then I would highly recommend the Henley Decor Fair. Anyway, I will see you once we get to Marlow. Just arrived at Tree and Nail Spa. Let's go and have those paws and claws dealt with. my angels. Happy Tuesday. I'm sorry that I didn't come on yesterday afternoon. By the time I got home, as you can imagine, taking a Monday like that, <laughs> I had a really rather busy evening ahead of me. But I'm very excited to say that I will be bringing you along with me today. So today we are going up to London yet again and we are going to experience the Giorgio Armani Sea Eau de Perfume in Covent Garden. I've been told it is absolutely incredible. I've seen bits and pieces on social media but I wanted to see it for myself. So the team have been so kind and they have invited me to go up and experience it for myself. So we will be doing that and then we are heading over to German Street and Belle Brummel are having an event to showcase their brand new 2023 collection. Now, as you know, 
I am a lover of a power boss woman suit. And German Street is famous for British heritage, great British luxury tailoring for men. And Bell Brummel is a ladies brand. I love the fact that there are female founded brands that are now based on German Street. I think it's incredible and I'm just really excited to discover the brand more. So we are going to be heading up to London together. As you would have been able to see yesterday, I had a full head of highlights with Steph. A little bit different for me. We've actually gone with a few more like cooler tones. We've got a lot of ash in there. She's given it a good old trim, so it's feeling very healthy and very thick. I did, however, sleep in my rollers. I do need to actually give it a bit of a brush through, but I don't want it to drop too much. Oh wow, I've got a bit of a trump going on here. <laughs> okay, I need to give it a good old brush and a bit of a shake at the root, but I am loving this colour. It's quite cool, it's quite ashy. I've got those golden brown tones in there. She's blended in my roots. I love it. I'm obsessed. Oh wow, we're having a real hair moment. <laughs> and then the outfit of the day. Well, it's a bit of an odd one outside. As you can see, the blue skies have officially left the building. So I've gone with a pair of cream high-waisted wide leg lily silk trousers. These are the new silk camisoles from Holland Cooper. Now when I say I need them in every single colour, they are absolutely stunning. Stunning. The quality is creme de la creme. Beautiful lace detail, but what I really like the most is that they have like the, it's almost like the bra strap detail so that you can actually make them a little bit higher up, a little bit lower down, so you can actually style these so many different ways. For example, if I was going on date night, I might possibly have this slightly lower. More risky. <laughs> but however, today we are meaning business. So slightly higher up, obviously need to be super conservative. And then the star of the show, <laughs> prepare yourself. She's over there. Now this is Holland Cooper's brand new biscuit trench. I showed it to you when we went to Game Fair and I was like, if there was anything that was made for me, it is that trench coat. And they've been so kind and they have sent it to me. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. So I'm going to pop it on and I'm gonna show you the whole outfit together. We're going very like camel, very creams, very tonal. And I love it because it is quite chilly outside and it's very windy. So let me put on the trench coat. I'll show you the final outfit. And then we have got to get moving. It's going to take me about an hour and 45 minutes to get up to Covent Garden. <clears throat> I would get the train, but I'm just a little bit nervous at the moment with everything that's happening in London. And I had a really, I'm not going to go into it. I had a really bad experience. I got followed to the train station and had my car. Um, anyway, I'm not gonna go into it. I just had a really scary situation recently that I am just a bit apprehensive as to getting onto the train, especially like rush hour, especially dressed up with jewelry. I just feel safer taking my car. I know it's not great for the environment, but I don't think you can put a value on your safety and I hope everybody else understands that. So um, anyway, let's get back to the point, pop this trench coat on, <sighs> prepare yourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll please. <gasps> Can we just take a moment for this breathtaking piece of art? Oh my goodness me. So as I said, this is Holland Cooper's brand new trench coat in this stunning, it's almost like an oatmeal biscuit color. It is the most stunning material. As you know, all of their trench coats are designed and made in England to order. I have fallen head over heels with the gold hardware, the belt, it's got the pockets. It's just the epitome of class, timeless 
elegance, yet you can still be super sexy, trendy, chic. It's everything. This is the trench coat that everybody needs in their wardrobe. And I get so many questions about what staples should I have in my wardrobe? What should be my wardrobe staples? And I truly, truly believe, and you all know that I would never ever suggest something that I wasn't passionately in love with myself. <laughs> I'm talking as though this is my husband. I think I might be more in love with the coat. <laughs> I am joking but I have literally fallen head over heels for this. And this, I know it is an investment, but it is something that you will have forever and it will go with every single outfit. You could even pop this over a dress, like an evening ball gown dress, and it would still look exceptional. Obviously I'm wearing it today with trousers. I popped on a pair of Manolo heels, but you could wear a dress underneath. You could pop a pair of jeans on. You could wear this with nothing underneath. <laughs> but oh, I am absolutely in love. And even the back of it, everything, it's got the incredible gold hardware. And I know sometimes Holland Cooper can go a little bit heavy on the branding, but with their tailoring, it's so classy. I actually shot this coat for an Instagram reel which you will be seeing very very soon and I had people running down the street to ask me where this is from. I am so in love with it. Right let's open this up because you could also wear it open like so. So you can actually button these back and they look, it looks really cool. So when I went to the boutique, just before Cheltenham, they actually styled my uh, black watch trench coat. I can't actually do that with one hand, but you can basically uh, pop it back. And if you're wearing something really statement underneath, like I love wearing these trench coats with their sweater dresses. So for example, you can wear it like so and just have one of the buttons just showing like that and then tie, oh, it's gonna be a busy day. Two seconds. That is all of our alarm systems going off. So I'm going to have to jet off, turn the alarm off, and then head up to London in this magnificent coat. This is a vibe, an absolute vibe. And I cannot tell you, these are going to sell out. So I will leave all the details down below. And if there's something that you need this season, this is it, save your pennies, spend it on one thing because this will last in your wardrobe forever. It's something you can style up, style down and just look magnificent. As I harp on the entire time, the thing that I love about Holland Cooper is their dedication to craftsmanship and British craftsmanship. So it's all designed in England, made in England, and this trench coat is made of the finest Scottish wool and it is something else. I think this is, I can't believe I'm going to say it because my black watch trench coat is phenomenal but this is on another level. Even down to the tailoring, it nips you in. It's so classy. It just does everything. I am absolutely blown away. I also love a trench coat fully done up. And look at those gold buttons. They're a statement without being too much and too blingy. <gasps> I am so in love. Okay, I am feeling this outfit. It is a vibe. So it's gonna be a busy day, but let's head up to London. Having a little bit of a boogie to myself. <laughs> Carpool karaoke. I have just got up to town. Traffic has not been great. My meeting is at 11.30 and currently it's saying I'm gonna get there at 11.32. And I have to park. <laughs> so please pray for me. I get so many questions about whether I like panic parking in London. To be honest with you, I think that's a motto that I apply to everything in my life is you cannot stress about things that you cannot change and things that are out of your control. So when it comes to <laughs> parking in London, I try to stay calm. I will find a parking spot somewhere. And if you can't, then as my mother says, Leonora, 
you are not saving lives. It will all be fine. No one's going to die. It's gonna be okay. You might be a bit late, uh, which I don't like being. As you know, I'm very prompt. But anyway, it's not the end of the world. But I'm hoping I'm gonna be there on time. I've actually had, apart from the last little bit, the last mile's been sticky, where you sort of just head over the flyover, if any of you know London. If you are heading into London, you go over the flyover and it can get a little bit sticky once you start driving into Central. Anyway, fingers crossed it won't be too bad now. I've actually taken my <laughs> trousers off. I have got trousers on, just a different pair because I think there's nothing worse than uh, creased trousers. And the Lily Silk ones, when you do sit down, they do crease a little bit. Um, and I just, th that's not a vibe for me. I need to find a handheld, oh, with a bit of a wobble going on. <laughs> I need to find a handheld steamer that I can take around with me in my handbag. I don't know why that's not secure. Give me a second, there we go, that will be more secure. But it needs tightening. Um, I need to find a handheld steamer that I can put in my handbag. So if any of you know of any good ones, let me know. And then I can sit in my silk trousers and uh, steam them when I get out of the car. So I'm going to have to very discreetly try and put on my trousers once I've parked the car um, and then put my coat on and then head into Covent Garden. I'm really excited today. It's the first time that I have met the Giorgio Armani team and it's a brand that I've wanted to work with forever, like literally ever. So I'm really excited about it. I'm also so excited to tell you that we'll also be shooting the new perfume in Mallorca. I'm thinking on the edge of a cliff, at sunset, super golden hour. It's gonna be a vibe gonna be a vibe so I'm really excited about that I can't wait until I can actually start vlogging Mallorca so I actually leave tomorrow but by the time you see this I will already in fact be in Mallorca <laughs> that's strange isn't it Anyway, so I will be in Mallorca. I am vlogging the whole trip. There are three vlogs to come out of it. So we are going to be filming my prep, what I'm packing, how I like to pack, everything that I'm taking, my kind of do's and don'ts as to packing, my top tips and tricks as to how to fit everything in and be underweight. It's a miracle, really. And then I'm gonna take you to the airport. I need to buy a few bits and pieces. Claudia is, of course, flying with me. And then, um, hopefully, I will be able to get Mummy to sit in the garden with me, have a glass of rosé once we arrive, and give you an updated garden tour, top tips and designer tricks with mummy. I'm then going to be filming a full Mallorca house tour, an update, all the furniture is in. We're still waiting on sort of soft furnishings and if you're in, into interior design you'll know that it takes months with the nicky nacky bits. So I think it's more likely going to be like completely finished towards Christmas but it's a journey and you are coming on it with me. Sorry, I need to focus here. And then I will be filming, of course, the full Luxury by Leonora photo shoot. All the brands, all my favorite brands, lots of beauty, lots of skincare, all the behind the scenes of the most hilarious things. So Anna's main job is to find a mountain with a goat on it. <laughs> I have a brand that I will tell you about and we'll do a full unboxing of all of the items that we are shooting but it's sort of very autumn winter sort of golden caramel camel tones thinking dusk in the mountains with goats yes it is a vibe it's extra but it is going to be mind-blowing uh, that is a red light mr. Clifton nurseries uh, okay, now it's a green light. Uh, okay, where are we going here? I've got my Apple car on. We're going down here and we're heading left. Oh golly, I'm in the wrong lane. Oh golly. Sorry, Mr. Red Bus. I'm a blonde and a Range Rover. Really sorry, really sorry. Come on, Mr. Bus, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. God, you, oh, you were really not gonna let me in. <sighs> Whoopsie, and now Mr. Bus is going to not be allowed. 
Well, I'm actually going to switch the camera off. I need to focus as to where I'm going and uh, I don't want to upset any more London bus drivers. Whoopsie. just arrived into Covent Garden, got very, very lucky with parking. I'm really quite impressed with myself and how I managed to get the car into the parking spot. Anyway, just heading down to the pop-up now. Oh my goodness, the most amazing thing literally just happened. This lovely lady called Sharon's just stopped me, who follows me, and uh, she's one of my YouTube subscribers. Massive shout out to Sharon, you've made my day. So I have just oh, yeah. got to the experience and look at this for a perfume bottle. Look at that, incredible. So the experience is inside. So we're gonna go and take a little look. The doors are closing. This is so exciting. <gasps> okay, here we go. I cannot wait. Here's the incredible branding. <gasps> what is the most powerful word? experience. I love having a little bit of a boogie in here to myself. <laughs> this is inside the Apple Market here in Covent Garden. The little market is on which is so sweet. It's very busy but so beautiful. Trench is off in the car. Got my gorgeous coffee. What a bougie place that was. Incredible! How much fun was that experience? The scent inside that perfume bottle was so intense. I mean, it's in the name really, isn't it? The Sea Intense. So it has been rebranded, it is much stronger, it's got like bourbon, vanilla tones. I get like a little hint of jasmine. Anyway, as I said, I will be shooting the perfume next week, which I'm so excited about. So I'll do a full unboxing and a full sniffing with you. <laughs> It's definitely not what they call it. Anyway, we are now heading over to German Street. We're going to go and see Belle Brummel's brand new 2023 collection. I cannot wait, so let's head over there. I feel like I'm really giving you a tour of London today. So we're now heading around Trafalgar Square. We've been past Buckingham Palace, we've been up the Mall. Oh! It is a tour of London on Leonora's YouTube channel. <laughs> Just driving up to German Street now, Wilton's Restaurant is one of my favorite restaurants in London. My father used to take me there when I was a little girl and we would sit up and have oysters. And it is a very, very old school, very old school restaurant, but incredible. If you like that sort of white tablecloth, rather old fashioned, then it is fabulous. Right, we now need to get lucky with our parking again. Hmm, 
Where are we going to? It's Emma Willis, another fantastic Great British female founded brand. Absolutely love German Street. Finally managed to park. I think I jinxed it. <laughs> I got lucky this morning and then I've literally spent half an hour going round and round and round. Finally found a spot. It's a bit sketchy, but fingers crossed we don't get a ticket. Now walking down to German Street. So I have just arrived at the Weiss Gallery here on German Street and I have just met the creative director and she has just given me the most incredible tour of her breathtaking pieces. Not only are they spectacular to look at, but listening to the detail and the passion that's gone into building these stunning pieces Aww, is truly kind of phenomenal. And Claudia has very kindly agreed to give us another quick tour so that you can hear just everything about it. I will pass over to Claudia and uh, yeah, let's have a little look around. Okay. Hi. All right, so we're going to go on a very quick cook's tour of the whole thing. Yes. So here we go. Um, so we have the inspiration. This is the inspiration. These jackets were uh, put together to create a really feminine jacket for women. Um, and they were inspired by the 18th and 19th century English, traditional English designs. Amazing. Uh, also colored in with a bit of Charles Frederick Worth, who was an I Englishman. I love that, he was an Englishman. Even though he had his atelier in Paris. Yes. Okay. Uh, so here I'm just going to show you quickly a couple of things where we got some ideas. Um, this is one of my favorite Gainsborough paintings. It's just a Kenwood house. Um, I picked the color dress, the pink, pink, right? It's my favorite and color. <laughs> there you go. And so here is the jacket. It's a very soft pink. Uh, this is another uh, gown from the 15th, I'm sorry, the 18th century, but you can see the level of piping here. So we put in streamlined piping here, but it brings the waist in visually here. So elegant. The line continues with couture buttons, little droplets, silk ornaments that can be taken off, and then the line continues all the way down to a pleated skirt that will release when you leave the room. You just waft so out elegant. of the room. So there is it's an idea of a little Beautiful. bit there. Beautiful, the history. So okay. you're taking history to the modern history day. History to the modern day. I love that. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is 37 pattern pieces. As it says, <laughs> oh it takes goodness. 37 pattern pieces to make one, one Gainsborough, Gainsborough jacket. jacket. So all of these pieces go into each jacket. Um, so much detail, and you were saying that you have a tailor on Savile Row Savile that Row. creates all of these beautiful yeah, pieces. She the, well, she did the pattern development for it. Okay. So quickly, um, here's we have all the of of details. The so these are all of the beautiful yeah. details that you can trims, have. The back, Look at those buttons, backs, the couture buttons. These are the Bell Brummel oh, buttons. I love that. We also have, um, in each of these jackets, a registration number and your name goes in the jacket. So personalized. So, that you so have these, that. Oh, this, this, is, is, um, this was fascinating. Yeah, this is talking about, my background was classical architecture, so it's talking about classical architecture and classical tailoring. And in a very quick nutshell, there is something called a golden section ratio that the Greeks figured out and put incorporated into their buildings. It's a repeating ratio. And what I did was I incorporated the golden section ratio in all my jackets. I and when you amazing. when you see this golden section ratio, because we are our bodies are filled with golden section ratios, anything that uses that geometry, you are going to find beautiful, in, in unconsciously, because you are looking at a reflection of your own of creation. Yourself. Of yourself. That is truly fascinating. So what you were saying is that literally the dimensions between yeah. the Here, shoulder, if that the length is one, then that length is 0. 0.618. That's a golden section ratio. Gold. So it's here. good enough for the Greeks, for it's, it's good, good enough, enough for, for us. Ladies, <laughs> and here's, a, this is another Gainsborough, again, a little bit more I wool, but a, like the a trim. skirt in the back. It is so beautiful. And, um, yeah, it's just timeless yeah. and elegant. It's sort of, I say, they're not in fashion or out of fashion, they're outside of fashion. It's, it's a classic piece that will just never, ever go out never of fashion. Goes.
just finished at the Wise Gallery. What a fascinating woman Claudia is and what an inspirational female entrepreneur. And the jackets, they are stunning, absolutely stunning. Anyway, back in the car and heading home. sweet home had a relatively easy journey on the way out of London I actually popped into Marlow I had to pick up some happy birthday cards for my brother from my mum my dad from Mark and myself <laughs> from everybody to him and I bought some 30 birthday candles the signs some balloons just to make it that little bit more special and it's actually something that's quite difficult to get in Mallorca so that is pretty much it. I have got so much in store for you. I simply cannot wait. I'm literally bringing this vlog to an end. We'll be having some lunch at 4.30 and then I will start filming the next one. As I said, we've got three mega Mallorca vlogs and it's just going to be incredible. It's everything that you have all asked for. So fingers crossed, I'm truly hoping you're going to enjoy everything that is coming your way. I also hope that you have loved every moment as much as I have bringing you along with me. Please excuse my very naughty sausage dogs. So we started off in Marlow having my TMI waxing done at <laughs> Cecily Spa in Marlow. The most divine and heavenly facial, which I don't know about you, I think my skin is glowing. It's also super tight on the jawline, and also I have got no bags, which for me is amazing. Then we headed over to La Medusa and I got my locks freshened up. And then we had a fabulous day together in London. If you have enjoyed watching, I would be so grateful if you hit the subscribe button. It just means that I can continue creating content for you. I've actually had lots of comments asking how to subscribe. So if you were to go onto my YouTube channel, in the top right hand corner, I will try and do a print screen here. Top right hand corner, there is a button called subscribe. If you click that, and then you can also click the little bell, which will turn the notifications on, which will let you know when I have posted and you can be the first to watch. So if you are one of those delightful people that watch me on your television, if you are to go onto my YouTube channel, so if you click that little round icon with my face, I think I'm wearing a red jacket, you click on that and that will take you directly to my YouTube channel page. And at the very top of that page, on the right hand corner, it has a little button called subscribe. So click that and I would be truly grateful. I can see about 60% are watching my YouTube channel on the TV, which is so cool. If you are watching on the TV, please take a picture and send it to me or pop it on Instagram stories and tag me and I will share it. I love seeing things like that. And actually today, meeting that gorgeous lady in Covent Garden. Things like that make my day. They make me so happy and just beam from ear to ear. Oh, I came on here to say a very quick goodbye. Three minutes later, <laughs> as I always say, I truly hope you've enjoyed watching and sending you so much love.